speaking of the London Eye, a lot of people do get engaged on the top there. It is important, however, to make sure they're going to say yes. Otherwise, it's a very awkward 15 minutes back down if they say no. <laughs> All right, hello. So today we're going to be having a little walk here from Buckingham Palace to Piccadilly Circus. Very easy little route. Let's see what we see along the way. Here we go. Hello. Here we are then. This is uh, Buckingham Palace. There it is. Uh, a little bit darker than normal. Uh, the reason why is because I've come here during the hours of dark or night time even uh, because uh, usually it's very very busy here and uh, I didn't fancy coming in with the crowds so uh, I've come here now to tell you a little bit about Buckingham Palace. So it was built between the years of 1702 to 1705 built by John Sheffield, Duke of Buckingham and built a house over here outside the city of London. And the reason why I built it over here because it was all full of countryside. It's a nice little country house known as Buckingham House. And then over time he uh, sold it onto the king, George III. Uh, some people say he sold it, some people say he lost it in a game of cards. Don't know, you'll be the judge. He then passed it on to his uh, wife, and then it stayed in the royal line all the way until Queen Victoria was the first monarch to live inside here in the 1800s. It's where our current queen lives, Queen Elizabeth II, living in 12 rooms out of the 775 in Buckingham Palace. The way you can tell if the Queen's in goes by the flag on the roof. If it's the uh, Union flag, some people know it's Union Jack. It's only the Union Jack when it's at sea. I'll have you know. But if it's the Union Jack, or the Union flag, which it is right now, that means the Queen's not in. If it's the Royal Standard, which is a burgundy red flag, uh, with a golden trim all the way around it, then she is in, that's how you can tell. All right, so we're just gonna make our way away from uh, Buckingham Palace. What we're gonna do is gonna cross over towards Green Park. Uh, we're not gonna go through Green Park, we're gonna have a walk up the Mall. And then we're gonna cut through past St. James's Palace, and then up through uh, the area known as St. James. And then we're gonna head on over to Piccadilly. And that's where we're gonna uh, finish our route for today. So uh, we'll say goodbye to Buckingham Palace. All right, so just over here, this is Green Park. Um, not gonna go in there right now, it's pretty dark. So uh, we're gonna leave that one. But uh, if you do wanna actually uh, know a bit about Green Park, uh, just check out my video. Here's a link, just up here, there you go. Oh, it's up here, there you go. Right then, so we're just making our way up the mile. It's a fair old trek, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, Buckingham Palace there is behind me in all of its glory. Uh, this is the mile uh, where the Queen will come up and down here on great state occasions, for instance, uh, the trooping of the colour uh, that takes place on here. Hence the reason why the road, let's have a look, can't really see in this lightness, there you go, a little bit of redness. The road is red for Her Majesty, so it's like a red carpet up and down. You can just about make it out in the light there. The lamps on the side as well, these are actually original gas lamps, believe it or not, from uh, Victorian, Georgian times, Edwardian. This lamp right here, you can't really see, but on the top of it you can see a little ship just up there. Let's see if we can zoom in. Just about make it out. So, uh, all up and down the mall, we've got these ships on tops of the lamp posts, all facing towards Buckingham Palace, towards the Commander-in-Chief, just over there. So, uh, carrying on walking, the uh, big black void over there, that's St. James's Park. Don't know what that is. Somebody on a colourful bike. Oh yeah. There it goes. 
Just down here is Clarence House. That's where Prince Charles lives. With uh, Camilla. Just down over there. You can't really see it right now, but uh, that's where they live. Moving on up the road. You can just about make out the London Eye in the background there. 32 pods all, all the way around that. Represents 32 boroughs of London. There you go. Door number 13 though, as it's considered unlucky. So it's possible to get into pod 33, even though there's only 32. Quite an international project, all the different pieces were built all around Europe. Then shipped up the river to where it stands to this day. It's built flat on the river, then raised into position. The original name of the London Eye was the Millennium Wheel. Uh, top points for anybody who can guess when uh, it opened up. 21 years old. And then uh, got rebranded into the Coca-Cola London Eye. Now it's sponsored by lastminute.com, now known as the Pink Eye. It's lovely coming out this time of night. Speaking of the London Eye, a lot of people do get engaged on the top there. It is important, however, to make sure they're going to say yes. Otherwise, it's a very awkward 15 minutes back down, if they say no. <laughs> Here's a gas lamp. There it goes. All right, coming around the corner here. This is the, uh, can't really see it, but it's here. There it is. I'll try to brighten it up for you in the edit. Uh, this is the wall of St. James's Palace. Uh, we'll see if we can get a better look over here. This is where the change of the guard begins uh, when it's back on. Obviously, uh, it's been off for a while during COVID. Here we are. So this is the courtyard of uh, St. James's Palace. Um, yeah, change of the guard actually begins here uh, and then they march down to Buckingham Palace and that's when they do all the big ceremony down here. But if you want to actually do it properly, this is where you need to come first. St. James's Palace, you'll literally stand on that side of the road over there and you'll watch it just over there. So there you go. Incidentally, you can't really see, but um, just over here. Can't really see the statue. So incidentally, you can't really see this. Across from uh, St. James's Palace, just here, we've got this lovely statue. You can't really see it in this light, but it's here. This is uh, Alexandra, um, who was the wife of Edward VII. That's who Alexandra Palace is named after, incidentally. This is uh, a lovely little chapel right here. And this chapel right here is where Princess Diana laid in state before her funeral. There it is. So here we go, this is the front of St. James's Palace. Built by uh, Henry VIII, when he was trying to impress Anne Boleyn. Uh, he had a map of London on a table, gave her a coin, said throw the coin on the map, wherever it lands I will build you a palace. And this is the result, here it is. Built on the site of an old leper hospital, which is the reason why Green Park uh, has a lot of leper, leper burials over there. Well, the only part really left from uh, the time of Henry VIII is this uh, little section over here on the bottom. That's the oldest part. And there you go, St. James's Palace. We're carrying on. So uh, we just walked up the Mall, which is down that street over there. We've walked up this road here onto this street, which is uh, a little bit more well lit. And this is Pall Mall named after a ball game, Pali Mali. So this uh, road, Pal Mal, uh, the majority of the uh, buildings along here are owned by the, uh, the Crown, the Queen, the Royal Family, with the exception of one, 
which was gifted to the mistress of Charles II, Nell Gwynne, which is just along here, still in her family to this day. Um, so yeah, so he used to uh, frequent Pall Mall uh, quite a lot to come and visit his lovely mistress. And the house is coming up just ahead of us over here. Let's have a little look. And there is, of course, the uh, the blue plaque on the wall. Let's have a little look. Coming up here. And there it is. There you have it. Uh, continue along here, a lot of gentlemen's clubs along here. Smokers clubs, uh, the Reform Club is a little bit further down here as well. Reform Club, if you're not familiar with it, is where Phileas Fogg set up around the world in 80 days. Uh, as well as, uh, if you're a fan, Michael Palin. I'm a big, big fan. Michael, if you're watching, big fan of your work. He set up around the world in 1988. Uh, I did it in... Uh, I think it was 79 days, I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've watched it. But yeah, he set up from here from the Reform Club as well. When he got back, he couldn't actually get back in. They wouldn't let him film the, uh, the end of the series. So he'd done, literally, gone all the way around the world, visited all these fantastic countries, only to finish back at the Reform Club on time, but they wouldn't let him in. Absolutely shocking. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to the steps. What was that? Frederick Windsor gave the world's first demonstration of street lighting by coal gas from a retort located here June 1807. There you go. I have never noticed that. Looks like the Ghostbusters uh, where the car comes out. But obviously it's not because that was filmed in New York. This is the Reform Club. Here it is. Big building right here. So yeah, there you go. These are the steps where uh, Michael Palin finished uh, around the world in 80 days. We're carrying on. Uh, we're coming to the end of Pall Mall now. We're going to take a left turn. And the left turn is going to take us up Lower Regent Street, and that's going to bring us up to Piccadilly Circus, where we're going to finish our little route for today. There we go, that's the Duke of York place. And on the top of the column over there, that is the grand old Duke of York, who had 10,000 men. Man on the horse, Edward VII. And uh, a little curiosity, actually. Let me just show you this. So the Duke of Wellington used to frequent these gentlemen's clubs. This one here as well. And uh, very undignified to just jump on his horse. So he had these steps installed. And they're still here to this day, one here. And then one on that side over there as well. And uh, this is where he used to mount his horse. So the Duke of Wellington has actually stood on these steps. There you go, we're walking through history. Lower Regent Street now. This is the Crimean War Memorial. This first statue here, this is Florence Nightingale, Lady with the Lamp. There she is. Let's have a look at these other guys as well. Um, they don't really get a big shout out. Sidney Herbert. Not really familiar with him. Right, here we go. It's going to get busy now. Heading up into Piccadilly Circus. It is a Friday night. Right, 
Right then, so just as we're making our way up here, a um, little bit about Piccadilly Circus. First place in the world to have an electrical billboard, even for Times Square in New York. Times Square then took it, they ran with the idea, but we can always claim to be uh, the first. First thing advertised here was, uh, I forget now. First thing advertised in electricity was Perrier Water, that was it. A couple of years ago, a brand new LED screen got put up here. Pretty much the center of London, Piccadilly Circus, people know it as. Circus, never been any lions or tigers here. Circus is the Latin word for circle. That's where we get that from, Piccadilly. Uh, if you're not familiar with the word Piccadilly, it comes from the word Piccadill, which was the big ruffled colors that uh, William Shakespeare used to wear. And that's where we get the name from, because the man who created them had his mansion here, pretty much on this site, called Piccadill Hall. And over time, Piccadill became Piccadilly. And now we know it as Piccadilly Circus. What else can I tell you about it? Connects lots of different streets, so we've got Piccadilly itself, Regent Street, Shaftesbury Avenue, uh, Leicester Square, Haymarket, all linked up by this one junction and uh, let's have a look at it this is new this path was never here before made it into just two lanes look at that all right let's cross over quickly Alright, so there you go. That is how you get from Buckingham Palace to Piccadilly Circus. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.